planner friend my name is Ashley and I am a current happy planner squad member and look I know that when you're new to the happy planner community it gets really overwhelming with trying to figure out which planner to get from you know the different sizes to all the different layouts the accessories the stickers and just just all the things so in this video I'm gonna go over the different planner sizes from the happy planner and I'm gonna tell you which size I think is the best to start with now I have a separate video that's all about the different layouts the Happy Planner has. So if you're needing help with that, that video will be linked down below in the description box. But let's go ahead and dive into the five different planner sizes that they have. So the first one is a big, and a big Happy Planner is gonna be the biggest that they offer. Now the pages inside of here are gonna be the same size as an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. So you literally can take a piece of paper and kind of get a reference for how big, <clears throat> excuse me, for how big the big happy planner is. Now your cover for every planner, not just the big, but for all of them, your cover will be a little bit bigger than your pages and your tabs to help protect your planner. Now, if you're ever on like Instagram or Pinterest or heck, even if you're watching a YouTube video and you're not sure what planner size they have, you can count the discs. So a big happy planner is gonna have 11 discs on it. Now the next planner size is called a classic happy planner. It is kind of your main planner size, I would say with happy planner. This is like, this is the planner that has the most accessories for it and stuff like that. So this is kind of, for the happy planner, this is their main planner size. So with the classic, you have nine discs on it. And for reference, if, if a big is a sheet of paper, here's a classic lined up to the bottom. So you can see, and it literally fits like the big fits right onto my screen. So right there's the bottom of the classic and here's the big and you can see the different sizes. Now the next planner size is called a mini happy planner. The mini has seven discs on it and you can see for comparison, here's the mini and it's a mini cause it's tiny and it's super cute. So you have a mini, a classic and a big. Those are kind of the main planners that the happy planner has. Now they also have two other planner sizes. So the next one is called a skinny classic. And the skinny classic is going to be the same size as a classic happy planner. As you can see here, it's just skinnier. And that's why it's called a skinny classic. So it has nine discs, just like the classic. It's just a little skinnier. And there's also a skinny mini. Now I don't have one on me to show you, but the skinny mini is gonna be the same height as the mini. So it's gonna have seven discs. It's just gonna be skinnier just like the skinny classic is. So it'll be the same height, just a little bit skinnier than the mini. So that's gonna be the five different planner sizes. Now, when it comes to which one to start with, I always tell people who are just getting started with a happy planner to start with a classic because the classic is not too big and it's not too small. But listen, you can start with whatever planner size you want. There's no wrong size, but I like the classic because like I said, it's not too big and it's not too small. And really whenever you start with a big happy planner, it's kind of overwhelming. It feels like a lot. It kind of feels like you're swimming inside of your planner. You know, especially when you're just learning how to decorate your planner, you know, maybe you're not really sure what to plan or how to plan. You're kind of just getting started. The big happy planner feels like a lot versus the mini happy planner, um, which is kind of hard in the beginning because you're trying to learn not only how to decorate, but how to plan and how to have enough room for both inside of a mini. Now, I love the mini happy planner. I think this thing is gorgeous. I love that it's great for on the go. Um, I just really like the mini, but uh, the mini is kind of hard in the beginning trying to figure that out, how to have, like I said, how to have enough space to not only decorate your planner and to write in all your plans. Now, if you're watching this and you're like, what, what are you talking about decorating your planner? Hold up. Uh, the Happy Planner offers a ton of sticker books and we use the stickers to decorate our planners and I'll show you here in just a second. But I remember when I first started, I actually started with a fitness planner and I didn't even know the Happy Planner had other planners. I, I always just thought that they had a fitness planner. And then, I don't know, I think I seen it on Pinterest or something, but then I learned, um, you know, that they had offered other planners and then there was stickers. And I was like, 
what is happening? What is going on? And then I remember I found somebody on Instagram and I realized there was an entire community of planner babes. And it was like, it was the craziest thing to me. So if you're watching this and you're not sure what I'm talking about with stickers, I want to show you really quickly. We use the different stickers to decorate our planners. This is my planner. I have a classic, but I also have a mini that I use separate. Quick tip, start with one planner. You will see that a lot of people in the planner community have multiple planners. But when you're just getting started, I definitely recommend starting with one planner and not trying to juggle multiple planners. It's just a little bit easier to start with one. And then as you go, as you figure out your style, as you learn what you need, you can add more planners in and have as many or as little as you want. But as far as decorating goes, let me show you some different spreads that I did. So here's one that I created using the Happy Planner stickers. This is another one. Now this one, um, I did not use, well I use Happy Planner stickers here, but uh, this is cardstock, so that's not uh, from the Happy Planner this week. I didn't even plan, and sometimes that happens. Here's another spread where I use stickers to decorate it. Now listen, the stickers, you know, it's totally optional. You don't have to have them. I highly recommend them because, well, they're super cute, but they can also be really, really functional, right? So like I have some box stickers here that are helping to highlight some important things on these days. Same thing with these ones. Those are important things that need to happen. So I really like, I mean, I like box stickers, but you can also use cute little decorative stickers. Like I use a, some sort of little flag every single day. This one's my social media planner, but I use some sort of little flag every single day to tell me what, what I'm posting to Instagram. So you can definitely make the stickers functional, but you can also make them really cute and decorate. Like this up here is just totally decoration. That's not functional at all, but it looks super cute. <laughs> so I definitely recommend stickers, but like I said, you don't have to have them really to get started. You need a planner and you need a pen and that's it. You don't have to have the stickers. You don't have to have all the accessories. You just need a planner and you need your pen. Now, one more tip I want to tell you. Um, I know that once you get started in the happy planner, it kind of becomes an obsession or an addiction maybe is a better term for it it's a happy addiction that's for certain and it's a I don't think it's a bad addiction I think it's a great one to have um, but it does become an addiction and sometimes it feels like that you have to get all the things right you have to get all the sticker books and all the accessories and all the different planners and the covers and the dividers no no, no. I want to tell you you do not have to have all the things so when I first started, I thought I had to have everything, right? Or let's say that the Happy Planner, the Happy Planner releases stuff multiple times a year. So they'll release like new planners and new stickers and new accessories and stuff. And every time they would have a release, I always went and I would buy like all the things. I would buy all the stickers and all the accessories and stuff. But listen, let me tell you something. I have sticker books on my shelf that I would buy for one sheet of stickers. Let me show you what I mean. So... Um, <clears throat> this is not an example of that. This is the Healthy Hero sticker book. I love this sticker book. I use it a lot. But by sheet, I mean there's sheets of stickers in here. And so I would buy an entire sticker book for one sheet of stickers. And the rest of it is just sitting on my desk. So I just want to tell you that you don't have to have all the things. It's not required. Don't feel like you have to have everything. Now, if you want to get something because you're like, I know I will 100% use it, then go for it. You know, that's, I'm, and I will totally enable you. If you're like, Ashley, should I get this? I have a tendency of saying yes. But I just want to let you know that you don't have to have everything. And also, real quick while I'm here, uh, all of the Happy Cleaner stickers have a title to them. So, like, this one's Healthy Hero. Let me grab a couple others real quick. This one is called Encouragement. This one is called womankind this is the nurse sticker book so they have a ton of different sticker books but again you don't have to have all that you don't have to have all the accessories um but i do recommend starting with a classic size happy planner just because it's not too big it's not too small i feel like you have the perfect amount of space to not only decorate your planner but also write in all of your plans but my biggest tip this is my biggest tip i tell this to everyone my biggest tip is to use whatever works for you. And sometimes you have to experiment with different sizes and that's totally okay. So maybe you watch this video and maybe you get a classic size happy planner and you think, you know what, this is, this is too much room for me. So then you get a mini happy planner 
And then maybe you're like, oh, I want to try the big. So then you go and you try the big. And then maybe you try a skinny classic. And then you try a skinny mini. And then finally you're like, okay, I think I'm going to stick to one, one planner and maybe you pick a mini. So then you just stick to a mini. That's totally fine. Um, you know, I just want to tell you that it's okay to experiment. It's okay to try different things. I just recommend starting with a classic size happy planner. Now, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. You don't have to turn on the bells and notifications and all those whistles and fancy things like that. But make sure you hit the subscribe button. I hope you have an incredible day. And as always, if you have any questions whatsoever, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I will link my Instagram down below in the description box. You can follow me over there. You can always DM me over there. You can always comment on one of my videos and I am more than happy to help you. So I will see you in the next one.